God created the world out of love. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is how the Bible begins, and the first chapter describes the creation of the world. God, without any materials or instruments, created heaven and earth. And finally, man. God created everything out of nothing. Everything was created out of love, small things like insects, and big things like the sun, the moon, the planetary systems, the whole universe. The most perfect visible creature is man, and God, with his laws, takes care of everything he created. Besides, God wants men to cooperate with his work. Human work is so significant that the Bible says that man was created to work and to rule with his work over all of creation, following God's design. In this lesson, we shall see the meaning behind the words expressed in the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. God is eternal. Only God is truly eternal. God has no beginning and no end. In God there is no past, nor future, only present. There was a moment when there was only God. But God wanted to communicate his perfections to other beings, so he created the world, with special regard for man, whom he created in his image and likeness. We were in God's thoughts from all eternity, long before he created us. Even before we existed, he already loved us. And since God loves humankind, he prepared for us a world full of wonders, the oceans, the mountains and forests teeming with life. God created the world out of nothing. Man needs time and effort to make things, but God created all things just by willing them into existence, and he created them out of nothing. There was nothing before God created things. To create is not the same as to make or manufacture things. We say that God created the world, but we do not say that God manufactured the world. To create the world implies that when creation began, there was nothing, only God, who wished things to exist and created them. Therefore, to create means to bring into existence, out of nothing, something that did not exist before. Man cannot create. He can only modify things. For example, the course of a river, and he can also build a house or an automobile by assembling existing parts. God created for his glory and out of love. When we see a work of art like a cathedral, we admire the talent of those who built it. When we see the magnificence of the universe, the perfection of such small things as a bird or an insect, we admire God who created them. The world is a manifestation of God's perfection, a reflection of what God is. We can say that the universe sings God's glory. Man should join this song, not only because God is the most perfect, visible creature, but also because God wanted man to rule over material creatures, which God created thinking of man and put them into our hands. Work and ruling the earth. God could have created things like chairs, desks, and power stations just the way they exist today. But he chose to have man ruling over creation transforming things as a product of his work. Man collaborates with God in his work. In the same way as God created only good things and out of love for man, man in return must do his work well and out of love for God. But trying to do it that way requires effort 
and offering the work to God. God maintains and governs the world. In order to make things last, we have to take care of them by doing repairs, oiling machines, protecting things from the effects of cold or heat. Otherwise, those things would lose their usefulness. We can only imagine what it must be like to maintain the universe because without God's continual act of creation, things would disappear and return to nothing. God governs the world with laws he has imprinted in nature while respecting the freedom he has given to men as one of his great gifts. To offer our daily work and to show gratitude to God. At the beginning of each day, we should offer to God what we are going to do. We could use a prayer like the following. I adore you, my God, and I love you with all my heart. I give you thanks for having created me, for having made me a Christian and guarded me this night. I offer you all my works, and I ask you to prevent me from committing any sin and to free me from every evil. We Christians, to behave as such, pray before and after meals. We could use a prayer like the following. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. And after the meal, we could pray, we give you thanks, almighty God, for all the benefits we have received from your goodness through Christ our Lord. But our thanks should extend to our whole life because life is a gift of God. Trust God. And knowing that God's providence is over everything in each one of us should lead us to place our full confidence in him as the source of our peace, well-being and joy. Resolutions for Christian Life To pray the morning offering when getting up every day. O oh my Jesus, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of my family and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. To get used to offering to God your study and your work and doing them as well as possible. <laughs>